I think you need to take your time with that Tamara girl. Yeah, I know. I know. Seriously, man. Let her earn your trust back. You know what they say. When the mistrust comes in, the love and sex goes out. And usually to someone else. That's facts. That's the truth, man. Good looking out. I got you. Always. My guy. <laughs> My guy, Gary. <laughs> Okay, sisters fans, you just saw a snippet of the sneak peek, and let's be honest, we all know at this point, the sneak peeks are generally the first scene of the episode, picking up where we left off, Tamara and Gary finish their kiss, and Tamara is just stunned by the ordeal, and Gary says what he said in the promo about having a thing for bad girls. Now, there's actually a decent amount of time of just silence between the two while they kind of break away from each other and kind of get back to their seats at the table before Hayden shows up. Kind of senses something is off, but once they say everything is fine, Tamara grabs some plates to go to the kitchen, and, um... Gary and Hayden have a talk. Simply put, you know, Hayden is just trying to think again about the plan about how to usurp Andy's ability to become partner. I mean, he has everything going for him. The fact that the partners who are currently running the uh, law firm really like him. He's not one to bring drama into the workplace. That's d debatable, but he's not a thousand percent wrong about that. I mean, yeah, he got beaten up by Zach and then he got beaten up and stripped and left on the hood of his vehicle but that was more so drama that fell on him from Fatima and Zach as opposed to him stirring the pot as badly as an Andy does even though Andy does less I guess you could say it's kind of weird where Andy does things outside of the law firm that eventually come back on the law firm as a whole anytime Hayden does anything it's a matter of karma where he's signaling out one person Hayden himself has not put the entire law firm in jeopardy, even though I've said it before, I'll say it again. He was the link between Gary and his company and the law firm. So he indirectly was a massive reason why the law firm almost crumbled a couple of weeks ago. But more to the point, he is one of, if not the most um, profitable resources within the law firm itself. So he does have a few points over Andy. But Gary just keeps saying, look, you need to get like an A-list client, something that is so big that they have no other reason they can think of to say no to you. So, yeah, you have a great track record, but how about getting a big client and winning the case like right now so they can say, oh, OK, that we, that's our shining star right there. Let's make them partner. So the most interesting part about this discussion is towards the end of it. After saying how, yeah, you know what? I'm, yeah, I love it when uh, Tamara's being all domesticated. Gary makes a point to say, look, man, you're talking about vacations and whatnot with her, but after what happened with her, you need to make her earn your trust back. So don't just go all in with her right now. Just make her earn it back slowly, because guess what? It's going to get to a point where if mistrust comes into the equation, love and sex leave. And next thing you know, she's going to be giving it to someone else. So that could be alluding to him. And when Hayden's like, yeah, you know what, dog? That's why he got my back. Mm -hmm. And then Gary's like, yeah, right. And I'm just like. So is he trying to scoop up Tamara too or what? This guy, his pregnant fiance is in the restroom. He's over here kissing Hayden's wife when he's outside of the room. And now it's almost like he's planning on scooping her up as well. This dude has no bounds. Seriously, this is crazy. Talking about how, yeah, make sure uh, Tamara builds your trust back. All the while, you're about to stab this man in the back. So it's something else. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.